I moved out to Los Angeles in 2002 and wanted to be a part of traditional entertainment as an actor and hopefully as a filmmaker. While I pursued acting, I wound up learning a lot about production and production design and becoming an editor and eventually starting my own production company. And we were always making sort of creative projects, but we had no place to put them. And in 2005, when YouTube started, we were just really excited to discover it because this is a place to put the content that we were creating. And then in 2006, I started my own channel, which was Lisa Nova. Hi, guys. It's me, Lisa Nova. Hey, guys. Hey. I have a channel on YouTube. Channel, check it out right now. I just wound up creating it and putting it up, and it found a little audience. And you know, as YouTube grew, we really dedicated our our time to being there and wanting to build as big an audience as possible. It started to become something where you could make a living there. But working on one channel became something that we didn't know how sustainable that would be and we thought that, you know, there's a bigger opportunity here. If we came together with other like-minded people who were making their living on YouTube and we shared resources and we shared audience, we could all benefit from that. And so we started Maker Studios in 2009 with that idea. I think one of the things that we found so exciting about online was that we could respond immediately to something that was happening, whether it was in politics or pop culture or a movie. You know, we were able to really be a part of this dialogue. You guys are so awesome. I love you for, for watching it and embracing it. Initially when I came out here, it was all about breaking traditional, and I think now it's about traditional migrating to online, and I think the entire entertainment landscape has completely changed. You have people now getting more viewership and spending less money on the product that they're making. It's bringing up the question of what is quality in today's entertainment. Just because it costs $100 million to make a movie, does that mean it's quality if I don't enjoy it? and I don't think it's interesting, or engaging as something that's 15 minutes that costs almost nothing but is overwhelmingly moving. You know, like, what is quality? Is it the fact that you spent that money and it's a certain camera shooting it, or is it how it affects you? We oui, man. <laughs> what you're seeing a lot more now is people being much more open with their life and sharing their life with a fan base, there is sort of a intimacy that is created between the audience and the person creating the content. I think structure and format and experience are all incredibly important when it comes to quality. And someone like Ashe Carl, who has been documenting his life on his flip camera for the last five years, is experienced in a way that anyone in traditional media, they're not. I truly am very grateful today and just happy to be a part of all of your lives and have the opportunities that I have. I've never seen people so overwhelmed when they see him and his family and how they've changed their lives. They've given them hope. It's quality for so many people. Technology has just changed the landscape drastically. I mean, you could never think about making your own film or having hundreds of thousands of people being able to make their own content from home. You know, so it's, it's had this evolution and I think this is a huge moment in entertainment because you can't have one studio or one network or one person defining what quality is. And now that there are options and they don't necessarily have to go the traditional route, you're seeing an audience defining what's quality for them. It's the individual experience. You have all different kinds of categories of content, and it's so powerful. The biggest channel on YouTube right now is a guy named PewDiePie, and it's massive. I mean, this is someone who's getting 150 million monthly views. Uh, Andrea's Choice, she's one of the biggest set maker with us, and she talks and engages with her audience in a very authentic way that has cultivated this enormous audience, and she is able to make her living. And, be able to feel like she's communicating with that fan base. I think anybody who is successful in creating online quality content is a master at engaging with their audience. Shay Carl and Kasim G and Andrea's Choice and Carly Styles and Epic Rap Battles of History and Nice Peter, Bad Lip Reading, all these guys are listening to their audience, they're commenting, they're engaging with them. That is quality, you know, you're really affecting people and you're communicating in a new way. 
the way YouTube is set up and online and the ability to create new formats and new structures and different kinds of formats is very exciting and, and that's what a lot of these channels have done. Because of the democratization of online and the you know, barriers to entry are, are much lower, quality is, is in the eye of the beholder. Anyone, if they want to, can really be creative and say what they want to say. And that's exciting because people have a lot to say.